Hey guys, this video was sent in from a subscriber who is aware of all of the harassment that I've faced after I posted a video from last year involving Casey Anthony. Take a look at this, guys, and let me know in the comments if you find anything similar to what I'm going through. Thanks for watching. So the man at the center of this apparent love triangle, ironically, is allegedly a cop. Mm -hmm. Yes. George, what was your reaction when you heard about this news? Well, in the first place, I said, you know, what is she doing going into a bar? Does she know something could happen? I saw just the same thing that you just saw from when I saw it the very first time. I'm like, are you got to be kidding me. Why is she going into a area where she knows there's going to be someone possibly going to recognize her or, or do something to get her to act in a way that she could go back to jail again or something? And I'm thinking, no. Why not stay away from these places? Why go into a place that you know doggone well? People get intoxicated. They can say things or do things. You know? You know? But in this case, the woman who apparently threw the drink at her knew her. Cindy, what have you learned about the incident? Well, I had heard about this young lady several years. In fact, the last time we were on your show, a couple years ago, I had thought that they were still together, Casey and this police officer. And I came, when I, we got back, I found out from Casey that she had broke off, broke it off with him. But I had heard prior to, you know, come, even coming on the show that there was this 20-some-year-old young lady who was harassing, 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 harassing Casey. Harassing, harassing. You seriously have nothing better to do with your life? LOL. Promise you, this isn't a door you wish to open. Of course, your little followers will side by you because they also have nothing better to do well. Sad. Harassing, harassing. And so is your life as well. It's all public records. Harassing, harassing. How about you give me a call since you're all about your YouTube? Harassing, 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 harassing. Amanda Actra, maybe this time you'll stop deleting my comments. <laughs> As I see, you're still mentioning me in your silly little videos. You get very defensive when people dig into your personal life. LOL, comical. And for the record, all your personal stuff is online and public records. Your assumptions are not accurate. You go out of your way to harass people at their work. But when you're exposed, you very much don't like it. You can, you can very much pin every one of my comments as well. Maybe this time you won't be the coward you claim others to be. Since you opened this Let's do, since you open this door, let's continue it. I may start a blog thanks to the influence and motivation. Sad that you feel you gain something by harassment without thinking of the consequences. You're the biggest bully yet. Getting into other personal lift to get others to continue your harassment. Yet when your skeletons are exposed, you're quick. And as for your assumptions, they're wrong! No, no one talked about your children or as of yet your life. In regards to the video that you posted, you fail to see that it's again being brought up for no reason. Yet again, exposing my personal information without thinking of the consequences of my safety. That is why you and I now have a problem. Harassing, 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 harassing. We can have a conversation anytime, honey. I've been asking you a plethora of times. What's all this behind the phone babble? Leave me the fuck alone. You did this the moment you chose to involve me by putting my information out on your YouTube page. You're such a loser. And your follower are pathetic. Your obsession with the cops is sad. But now I know the story about it. Got caught up cheating, LOL. Yeah, when your shit exposed, you don't like it. Anytime you're ready, let me know. You have my number. Don't be a blocking asshole. Harassing, harassing, harassing. See you in court! Harassing, harassing. I agree. If her issue is with Malcolm or any other officer, she should make it about that person and not other people who isn't involved with zero regard for their safety. There was zero reason for her to post a video. And midway through the video, my name, D-O-B, and number is exposed yet again. A year later, and for what reason? Unsure. 
<laughs> That's my issue. I have zero ties to this cop. Blah, 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 blah. Here are, here are, harassing, harassing, harassing. Blah, 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 blah. Harassing, harassing. Pin this comment. Smiles. I'll do a lot more than throw a drink. Well, I remember I didn't hear anything about the drink incident. And I remember going out and seeing George in the garage and he's fuming. And I go, what's going on? He goes, our daughter is in the news again and blah, blah, blah. And I said, what happened? So he showed me the video on, you know, on the computer. And I said, well, she had every right to call the police. This girl has put in harassing her for two years. He did not know that. I said, this girl is trying to seek attention. And I said, she's been stalking Casey. I mean, Casey would see her at different venues she would be at. I said, she has every right to go out and live her life. She's a young lady. She has friends. And they go out in public. And they. And she was playing pool that night. So I calmed him down. I said, George, I said, Casey's not out there trying to get into the news. It became news because she reported this girl. And she had reported her before. I mean, her boyfriend was a police officer. So, he knew she was well, being first of all, is, he, is he a boyfriend or a fiance or what happened there? Well, they were, they were supposedly going to get engaged, but Casey... He had been married previously. This young lady had been harassing his ex-wife as well. So Casey got upset because he kept interacting with this girl. So she finally realized that he wasn't marriage material. So, you know, they, they split up. They have remained friends, though. And this girl was upset that Casey was still in his life, even as a friend.